Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making this shamrock against the Irish flag. So to get started, you are going to get a sheet of white paper. And what I want you to do is you're gonna sketch out your, your shamrock first. So towards the top of the paper, basically you're making like a big heart that you're not actually closing at the bottom here. So you're kind of keeping it open. And then you're gonna turn your paper and you do the same thing. Um, you want the line very, very close to the other heart. Just like that. Again, I'm not closing the heart. And I'm gonna do one more over here. So same thing, I'm getting close to this heart. Just like that. And then I'll flip it back around. And you may have to bring this a little bit closer here. You're gonna draw two lines that kind of curve out to the side. Just like that. And then you'll close it off. Okay, and then you're gonna go with your black oil pastel and you're gonna trace over top of those lines. So I'm gonna trace over every one of them. Once you've traced over all your lines, you're gonna fold your paper into threes. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm almost rolling it just about until it's even, okay? And I'm gonna make sure the top and the bottom are like this, and then I'm gonna just crease it. I don't wanna press down on the paper too much because the oil pastel actually can kind of stamp. I don't know if you can see that, and I don't want that to happen on my paper. So you're gonna open it back up, and you're just gonna draw a black line in the creases. Make sure not to go through the actual clover, um, but go around it. So this way we can kind of section off our different colors here. Just like that. And once that's done, you are going to start with your really dark green oil pastel. It's almost like a bluish color. And you are going to color in just the inner edge of each heart, okay? So I'm gonna go in maybe about a half inch or so with this dark green color. And I'm gonna do this in every single heart and then also just on one side of the stem here. Once you're done with the darkest green, you're gonna get a medium green and you're gonna follow along the same concept, but this time you're just going inside of the dark green here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna blend a little bit of the light green and dark green, kind of where they meet. So I'm going over top of some of that dark green with this light green. And you can see it's starting to kind of blend together just like that. So I'm gonna do this on every single one of the hearts and also on the stem here. At this point, I usually like to go back to the darker green and just kind of fill in any of that white space. So I'm going a little bit over top of that um, light green or medium green, I should say, but also on the edges here and just kind of making sure that everything really like is filled in and kind of blends together. So I'll go ahead and do that. You can also use this green to go over top of the black um, on this clover here to just kind of darken it up. Again, getting rid of all that extra white space that you're kind of showing through with the oil pastel. It's so one of the great things about oil pastels is they really do color in very nicely. So you can, you know, make sure that you don't have any white space if you're careful and just you know, go over everything a couple times with it. All right, so once you're done with that, you're gonna get your light green and now you're just gonna fill in the rest of the clovers. And again, I'm gonna blend with that medium green and then just fill in the rest of the space, making sure to cover up all the white space on, my, on the inside of the clover on my paper. All right, so once everything's filled in, we're gonna get our tempera cakes paint. Okay, so that's this paint here. Um, if you haven't used this before, you do actually need to add water to it. So I just add my, I just dip my paintbrush in my water. And we're gonna start with this side over here, which is orange. Now, the palette that I have doesn't come with orange, so yours may not either. So what you're gonna have to do is just mix in some of the red and add it to the yellow and then you can just mix it until you get that orange color that you're looking for. So everybody will have like a different uh, tone of orange. Some may be more red, some may be 
more yellow, but it doesn't really matter. And what I want you to do is you're painting vertically, okay, so up and down with the paintbrush using that orange paint. So I'm gonna go up to the clover and just about to the edge of my paper. I'm really not worried if I don't cover every little bit of white space here because um, it'll kind of just give it like a rustic feel. So I'm gonna fill in this whole space here. And once you have that side done, you're gonna rinse off your paintbrush. And then all the way on this side, we're gonna use the green to fill in this side here. So same thing, I'm going up and down and up and down. I'm never ever painting side to side. Even when I go close to this clover here, I still wanna go vertically. Um, it just gives it a different look and it's just a lot smoother when all the paint is kind of traveling in the same direction. So that's really how I want you to use your paintbrush, just painting up and down, never side to side. All right, boys and girls, that's all there is to it. I hope you guys have fun.